from 1959 to 1963 in NASA's X-15 hypersonic research program with the Air Force and Navy, the MC-2 suit provided full body pressure protection for extreme altitudes. It pioneered layered insulation and mobility, serving as a prototype for future orbital suits. During 1961 to 1963, Project Mercury's first U.S. human space flights relied on the Mark IV suit, a high-altitude pressure garment with neoprene lining and cooling underwear. Advancements focused on custom fit, easy donning, and reliable seals for suborbital missions. In the 1965 to 1966 Gemini program preparing for Apollo, G3C and G4C suits featured six nylon layers with enhanced joint mobility for two crew flights. Key improvements included better flexibility and Air Force-inspired designs for extended space operations. The Apollo moon landings from 1969 to 1972 used the A7L and upgraded A7LB suits with integrated PLSS backpacks for untethered EVAs. Innovations like thermal micrometeoroid protection and tailor-made construction enabled lunar surface exploration. For Skylab's 1973 to 1974 orbital laboratory missions, modified A7L suits adapted Apollo designs with tethered life support and updated visors. Advancements emphasize thermal layering and entry systems for long-duration station EVAs and repairs. From 1981 to 1994 in the space shuttle era, the LES pumpkin suit offered partial pressure protection during launch and reentry. Features included hyperbaric safeguards up to 30 kilometers and cold water survival, boosting crew safety post-Challenger. Since 1983, through shuttle and ISS programs, the EMU delivered self-contained EVA capabilities with full life support and communications. Ongoing advancements in modular sizing and microgravity mobility supported hundreds of spacewalks into the modern era. It was a teenage wedding.